Hello and welcome to the channel. The presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Rabiu Musa Kwankwanso, has attacked President Buhari for not doing nearly enough to ensure that the recently conducted elections were free and fair. He noted that in civilized countries, owing to the outcry that greeted the shambolic polls, that itself ought to have resulted in the outright cancellation of the election. Unfortunately, sir, we are not civilized, obviously. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. You didn't do enough to ensure credible elections, Kwang Kwanso tells Buhari. The presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, in the just-concluded presidential and the National Assembly elections held on Saturday, February 25th, Senator Rabiu Kwankwanso has taken a swipe at President Muhammad Buhari, saying the president did not do enough to provide for free, fair, and credible polls. Kwankwanso said that in civilized countries of the world, with the level of alleged vote buying, use of guns to intimidate the people, and with the level of irregularities recorded, the elections would have been cancelled, just as he said that the outcome of the presidential election never reflected the wishes of Nigerians. He has, however, pleaded with the judiciary to always remain as the last hope of the common man and not a repeat of number four person becoming number one, courtesy of the Supreme Court expressing fears that now it may be another ball game. He spoke on Thursday in Abuja at the first post-2023 election meeting of the party's National Executive Council, NEC. The former governor of Kano State and Senator accused the ruling party, the Hall Progressives Congress APC, of manipulating the outcome of the general elections in some states, especially the presidential election. He simply said that the election is not a reflection of the minds of Nigerians. According to him, with the performance of the NNPP, in spite of the late entrance into the political scene, almost a year old, it is a party for the future, against the backdrop that many Nigerians are ready to join the NNPP ahead of 2027, even as he lamented that Nigerians were not allowed to enjoy the positive change they were looking for. Consequently, Kwan Kwan so, who doubles as the national leader of the party, urged the leadership of the NNPP to use the opportunity provided before the next round of election in 2027 to tighten their belts, go back to constituency, and work more better. We have four years to reposition the party to deliver positive change to Nigerians. We joined this party barely one year old. The performance we have seen, I believe we should all congratulate ourselves. We have done well, and what is even more important is that almost everybody now believes that NNPP is the party for the future. Immediately after this election, some people visited me to say that now we have seen the light, and before 2027, they are going to join our party. The challenge of the time is very critical because this is the first time in the history of this country where we have a party, especially after the establishment of the two parties across the country, that within the shortest possible time had this kind of popularity based on the integrity and hard work and commitment to this country. I believe it is time we congratulate ourselves and also tighten our seat belt to go back to our constituencies and work much harder. I also believe that now that we have more years to strategize and push for the party so that more people are accommodated as members and leadership at various levels of the party, at the states, and even in terms of number and quality, so that Nigerians can have an opportunity to have a positive change that our party, the NNPP, stands for in this country. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Also, the presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Rabiu Kwankwanso, joined winners of the 2023 election on the party's platform in presenting their certificates of return to the public. Nigerian News reports the certificates presented included 
those of the Kano State Governor-elect and the Deputy Governor-elect, Engineer Abba Kabir Yusuf and Comrade Aminu Abdusalam, respectively. Also, the certificates of the Kano State House of Assembly members-elect who are members of the NNPP were presented to the public. Making the development known, Kwan Kwan so took to his Twitter page where he shared the photos from the event and wrote, Today in Kano, I received the Kano State Governor-elect and the Deputy Governor-elect, Engineer Abba Kabir Yusuf and Comrade Aminu Abdusalam, alongside the NNPP Kano State House of Assembly members-elect as they presented their certificates of return to the public. Meanwhile, the Kano State Governor-elect Abba Kabir Yusuf, popularly known as Abba Gida Gida, has promised that his wife and children will not interfere in the governance of the state. He gave the assurance on Wednesday in Kano State during his acceptance speech after receiving a certificate of return from the independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. Yusuf explained that his family members were not elected, neither would they take the oath of office, so they won't be allowed to interfere in governance. A promise that the same will be applicable to the deputy governor-elect. Nigerian News understands the statement is a jab at the incumbent state governor, Abdullahi Ganduje, whose family members are said to have far-reaching and overbearing influence on governance in the state. The Kano state governor-elect, Abba Kabir Yusuf, has also approved the appointment of Sunusi Bature Dawakin Tofa as his chief press secretary. Nigerian News reports that the appointment was made known in a letter signed by the chairman of the gubernatorial transition committee on behalf of the governor-elect. He stated that Baturé's appointment was based on his competence, loyalty, commitment and hard work which he exhibited since 2019. The online newspaper reports that Baturé is a seasoned PR guru, development communication and stakeholder engagement expert with 19 years working experience in both international development, private sector and the media in Nigeria. He is a winner of the Cambridge Education Award on Investigative Journalism in 2008. Baturi has worked at different capacities in various national, international and bilateral organizations such as the British Foreign and Commonwealth Development Office, FCDO the United States Agency for Internal Development, OSAID, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, Save the Children International, Discovery Learning Alliance, and the Rockefeller Foundation. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.